Okay, <clears throat> I'm back. Um, getting back to what uh, <clears throat> Biden said Sunday night, uh, he he said, "quote There is no place in America for this kind of violence or for any violence ever. Period. No exceptions. We can't allow this violence to be normalized." Uh, end quote. <clears throat> Someone needs to tell Mr. Biden, President Biden that Donald Trump has spent ever since 2015 normalizing, doing exactly what uh, Joe Biden apparently missed. Uh, Trump has been normalizing political violence and violence of any kind uh, with, with, with the most effective pulpit from which to do it. And that is his declaration that he was, first of all, a candidate and then president and now a candidate again. This rancid son of a bitch, Donald Trump, has turned this country into into a deteriorating system where the Christian fascists really do believe, and they're probably right, that they have an absolute golden opportunity to seize control of the political and judicial and media apparatus of this country and turn it into something vile and foul and rotten based on their fucked up religion. So, you know, when 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 Biden talks about we, we can't have members of Congress targeted, what the fuck? Who's doing that, Joe? Who is putting targets, literal targets? On, on the pictures of members of Congress, and then they an assassination attempt is made. Who's doing that, Joe? It's not we. It's these Christian fascist bastards who suck around Trump. The violent mob attacking the Capitol. Were they Democrats, Mr. President? Were there people who were trying to make sure that democracy was saved? <laughs> Come the fuck on. The attack on Nancy Pelosi's husband? Well, was that by a righteous, good, nice, religious man who was just trying to murder the husband of the Speaker of the House? The kidnapping plot against the governor of Michigan? And, and the plan, it turns out, was to take her out in the country and fucking kill her. Mr. Biden. Mr. President. We are so far down the road in this country that you insist we shouldn't go down as to render everything you said completely meaningless. Mr. President, where in the fuck do you live? And again, Biden has a habit of repeating himself. So what the hell, if I'm talking about him, I guess I have to do it. But again, <clears throat> Biden said, quote, there's no place in America for this kind of violence or for any violence ever, period. No exceptions. We can't allow this violence to be normalized. And uh, end quote, when he said that, I almost expect him to say, no, I'm not kidding. <laughs> no, for real. No, for real. I'm not kidding. Mr. President, wake up and smell the fucking gunpowder and the blood and what these son of a bitches have been doing for the past decade, these Christian Nazis. So Biden and rational people in this country have been categorical in denouncing this attempt to remove this fucking Trump. And 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 officials in the Democratic Party have, have stressed. And their insistence on in staying away from finger pointing or conspiracy theories. Because they recognize the seriousness of the shooting, only they won't fucking talk about it. They won't say, yes, Trump brought this down on the country and on himself when that is absolutely the bottom line. Come on. But they have to condemn what happened in no uncertain terms and in the process completely gloss over how we got to this point politically.
But Biden and, and, and his political allies should also remind the public clearly and distinctly that if we're going to talk about violence having now saturated our political system, then the political violence in Trump's own record has to be talked about. And it's not just political violence. This son of a bitch is violent against immigrants, against women. Did I mention women? He's so violent against women. Grab them by the you know what. Rape them. Get them in a dressing room and jam your fingers into their private parts. Yeah, fuck yeah. They love it. Oh, my God. And then when the orange bastard sat down with Time magazine and he was asked about the possibility of post-election violence <clears throat> this November. And the orange pig replied, quote, if we don't win, you know, it depends. It always depends on the fairness of the election. Oh, my fucking word. Will you stop? The fairness of the election, you filthy bastard, you. Man. And, and it wasn't just an isolated incident. Even this disgusting example of failed organism, Ted Cruz, a senator from Texas in 2016. <clears throat> even that son of a bitch said that Trump, quote, has a consistent pattern of inciting violence, end quote. <laughs> and Cruz now will get on his knees in front of Trump and assist Trump to unzip his fly, for Christ's sake. All of these people, these gutless, spineless apologists for this Nazi son of a bitch, man, and in the years that followed Cruz's statements and a lot of these former creatures that appeared to be human beings, obviously they're not. They're some kind of walking jellyfish. But in the years that followed, Trump repeatedly offered evidence to, to bolster the thesis that he shows a consistent pattern of inciting violence. That's all he's ever talked about is violence. Because he's a filthy goddamn person, Trump is, who has nothing to offer the world. And yet the Christians, the Christians, the Christians love him, love him, worship him, grant him Messiah status. Man. Man. And, and... When the would-be killer targeted Pelosi, Pelosi's home, Trump went after Nancy Pelosi and, and came up with all kinds of filthy, rotten conspiracy theories. And when the Trump lovers plotted to kidnap and murder Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, the orange bastard launched an offensive against her and described the plot as fake. The juries who heard the case, of course, disagreed and sent these son of a bitches to jail when they should have been sent in front of a goddamn firing squad. And Trump, even though he was the organizer, the impetus, the, the, the juice for the January 6th attempt to overthrow the government, He's basing now part of his campaign on championing the bastards, the criminal treasonous filth who tried to overthrow the government. He calls them patriots. <laughs> and hostages. And he's made it very clear that when he is president, dictator for life, he is going to release them all. So while Biden and Senator Warnock 
tried to connect all these dots from the Saturday shooter to the people who murdered cops on January 6th. They tried. And the point isn't to downplay the attempt on Trump's life. I think the 20-year-old who was involved in that will probably earn a place in history. I just hope that he is marked as someone who tried in a very American, violent way to save democracy. The point is, to try to argue that political violence is always wrong, even though that's not what the orange son of a bitch says all the time. To him, political violence is the grease that keeps everything hot and cooking. Huh? Well, the pundits have had their uh, 48 hours to... to, I, I can't even think of the right words, normalize, downplay, um, ignore the irony that the violence visited on Trump on Saturday, as pissy as it was, as ineffective as it was, was a direct result of everything that Trump has ever stood for, especially in the last decade. This is his environment. This is where he wants to be. He wants to be surrounded with violence as long as he is completely protected, of course. And the common, the end result of this violent son of a bitch is going to occur, when does it start? Tomorrow? This Nazi rally? In Milwaukee. When he walks out after a thunderous introduction and thunderous applause and rapture and women crying and men pumping their fists in the air. That will be the culmination. It doesn't make any difference what happens after that. Because this orange filthy pig has made it very clear. That there will be bloodshed. If he's denied the presidency. I I mean. Did did Senator Warnock and President Biden forget that when they were trying to tell us that, well, violence has no place in our political system? Are you fucking kidding me? Anyone who says that violence is it's the lifeblood now of our political system. And in so many instances, that's exactly what it's been. History warping events. The assassination of Dr. King, the assassination of Robert Kennedy, the assassination of John Kennedy. The attempted assassination of Ronald Reagan. The several attempts thwarted. On Gerald Ford, who the fuck is going to have the nerve to say to us, violence is not part of our political system and never will be? Such horseshit. Oh, man. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits like me, Mike Malloy, 24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial But we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.